Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, we're gonna talk about cold plasma aided polymerization and polymer modification. The team members are Albert Del Delgado, Maria Angeles Franco, me, Natalia Lopez, and Julio Gaona. We're all materials engineering students. Next slide, please. Okay, plasma is the fourth fundamental state of matter. It's like a gas, but in a highly electrically charged or ionized state. 99% of the known matter in the universe is plasma. Most of the stars are made of plasma, but we also have this state on Earth. So you can see the Northern Light or Aurora Borealis. That light in bold that stretches across the sky and neon lights are plasma as well. Next slide, please. Okay, uh, cold plasma is plasma without thermodynamic equilibrium due to the inequality of the temperatures behind electrons and uh, neutrons. A very important charity is the ability to generate uh, various chemical reactions in uh, controlled systems. Albert, your, your mic, it's off. Thanks. Now, plasma polymerization refers to the process of depositing a thin surface layer on substrates occurs at a high speed in the gas pipes. Plasma is formed by ionizing a monomer gas through electrical discharge. Plasma environments are generated using plasma jets, ion beams, light discharge, corona discharge, laser induced plasma, and electron beams. This review paper has been separated in four parameters the functionalization, wearability, stability, and topography. Now, with the functionalization, we have, uh, according to the literature review of, of cold plasma treatment, it is possible to add new functional groups which can be characterized for Fourier transfer infrared spectroscopy and X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. An important fact that is that there are two types of active species in cold plasma, chemical reactive species such as oxygen and nitrogen, and species that only break the chemical bonds such as photons, electrons, non-reactive ions, exciting non-reactive non atoms uh, or molecules. Now, uh, in the gas media, we have that there are there are important gases like oxygen, argon, nitrogen, ethanol in the cold plasma. Uh, making a focused comparison of the gas used in the study carried out by Xiao Yang, the treatment of the plasma on the carbon fibers surface using oxygen and ethanol as a gas medium. He found that with ethanol, more functional groups, carbonyl, hydroxyl, and carboxyl were formed. Likewise, he said that the concentration of oxygen increased while, can, while carbon decreased along with the CO radio, producing changes in the roughness and hydrophilicity on the surface substrates. Other authors investigation mentioned that the high molecule weight of the argon atoms create many active sites and free radicals that can interact with each other and with oxygen containing group through bombarding on the surface on the rays of films. Now, a comparative analysis by Xi Liu performed between the plasma activation of N2, NH3, and the polymerization of alilamine shows that there are effective introducing nitrogen containing groups with particular high implantation of amine functionalities to improve the surface biocompatibility of 3D printed scaffolds. Now we have the power of treatment. The power of treatment changes the properties that properties as in situ in the Sichuan work where an increase in the CO groups occurs when the power of the plasma treatment decreases. This growth of functional groups containing oxygen is reflected in the surface properties 
of the substratum. Thus, this treatment with plasma acid increases the polar components on the surface and the CO radio decreases, improving the hydrophilicity and biocompatibility. For the adhesion, another important point that is in, comp in comparison is these new functional groups induce a stable reaction in the 3D pieces, improving their adhesion. For example, the hydroxyl group pro produced on the glass polypropylene and high density polyethylene surface reacts with the ether groups, producing a stable components, thereby producing a, a, strong, a strong bond between the glass polypropylene and high, de high density polyethylene surface. Now for the coating, finally, the deposition of organosilicates in the scaffold study shows that the CO radio after the deposition of a layer composed of silicon, carbon, and oxygen re relation increased nearly 1.1 to 1.3 in the surface layers on the paper, making it strongly hydrophobic. Thank you. So, uh, what is wettability? Wettability is the preference of a liquid to be in contact with a solid surrounded uh, by another fluid, liquid or gas. Uh, in the next slide, please. This is determined by the uh, adhesive and coacid forces between the solid and the fluid, which highly depend on the chemical composition of the contact surface. How is this measured? This property can be measured by contact angle, uh, usually water contact angle. An image of, uh, of the Adairi bubble projected onto a screen, thereafter the angle is measured as the inner angle between the flat surface and the tangent of the drop. As this angle increases, hydrophilicity uh, decreases. Next slide, please. So in order to tailor surfaces to enhance hydrophilicity or hydrophobicity as well, by changing the polarity, uh, the substrate phase can be uh, activated by gases as in this research where low density polyethylene activated under argon and oxygen molecular oxygen plasma uh, environment to increase the content of oxygen functional groups as we can see in this scheme uh, so uh, the, the oxygen functional groups which will improve the attachment of uh, acrylic acid polymerized layer uh, this monomer has been actually widely used in biomedical applications due to good cell adhesion uh, attributed to carboxylic groups on the surface. During this process, wettability, as you can see in the slide, uh, increase, uh, sorry, uh, wettability increase uh, by reduction of water content angle, going from 90.3 uh, degrees from the untreated samples to 21.2 uh, degrees for the pre-treated samples, which is the activated uh, surface, and going to 13.4 degrees for the uh, cold plasma polymerization of acrylic acid uh, samples. Next slide, please. So uh, hydrophobicity can also be achieved by plasma polymerization, but in this case, uh, carboxylic groups are not uh, required since hydrogen bonds wants to be avoided. Uh, that's why HDMSO or hexamethyl DC loctane was coated on goose dawn. In this research, argon was used as an activation ambient for 45, 45 seconds, and HDMSO layer was deposited on the surface by plasma polymerization, which led to a super hydrophobic surface. As we can see in the picture, uh, the, the picture of the drop. Uh, uh, the water contact angle uh, went to 161 degrees. So um, let's say this is a water, uh, this, just this material just doesn't uh, love water. If we go to the next slide, uh, we can see that uh, the hydrophobicity of the surface, of the surface uh, resulted in an antifungal uh, in an antifungal uh, features of the goose dawn. Next slide, please. 
However, cold plasma treatments do have some limitations. After a certain amount of time, uh, a saturation point is reached, which means that wettability will not change with longer treatment. After this point, surface might, be, uh, might suffer wear. Also, cold plasma polymerization is an uncontrolled process. Some authors working on very sensitive uh, to contamination applications opted for a cold plasma activation of the surface to generate reactive species uh, on top and then coated by leaving cationic polymerization. And after that, and after that uh, coating, samples were treated again with cold plasma to improve wettability. On the other hand, we have advantages. Uh, this is a very low, uh, low time modification process. It just takes uh, seconds or minutes, while other might last up to seven hours with etching on, on the surface. Since uh, it works at low temperature and uh, thermal sensitive samples are safe, as well as UV sensitive uh, materials using in cold remote uh, plasma. Besides, it represents an environmental friendly uh, method since it's a solvent free method and non toxic. Thank you. New properties within seconds. It's not magic, but cold plasma. Net. Stability. The property of a body that causes it when disturbed from a condition of equilibrium to develop forces that restore the original conditions. Turn a sheet of paper into a conductive material. Myth or reality? What do you think? It's real. In 2020, some authors immersed an ordinary sheet of paper in a bifidopine solution, carried out a non-gaseous dielectric battery discharge, DVD polymerization. Next, please. Using a microsecond pulse power supply for 10 minutes with air plasma, and then they electrochemically polymerized it to prepare a thin layer of polytheophane from the solid state of 2,2-bithiophane to convert the paper layer into a conductive material. Next, please. So, how could stability be improved in the new material? There are cert certain factors to improve stability that depends on the properties of the material. In this case, to achieve a better stability in the electrical conductivity of the polymers, iodine was doped in the monomer film and the same treatment mentioned above was carried out. This time, no changes in conductivity were evident. Next, please. Awesome, but nothing lasts forever. According to the reviewed scientific articles, plasma treatments on polymers mainly improve the wettability of their surfaces. However, the properties involved could return to the initial state quickly through aging. This could be attributed to the reorientation of the polar chemical groups in the material. Another reason for aging is that the polar groups diffuse into the polymer matrix, generating a degradation of the surface in the rapid interaction of the polymer with radicals or ions. Next, please. Next, please. Okay. Uh, the topography has the purpose of studying the forms and features of a surface, as it is measured using atomic force microscope, and the unit is the root mean square value, whose representation is the average height from the central plant of the samples. For example, for example, in the figure you can see peaks and variations, so it represents the topric chain. chain. Next, uh, in this study, a cold plasma treatment was carried out with different gas to observe their behavior and improve compatibility and weightability. The results obtained with respect to Rocknex was an increase of 74% with argon and 24% with sulfur hexafluoride because it can impart water weather repensive to the samples. For the reasons, for the for this reason, it has a very low rocknex why argon improves the properties. Next please. 
Okay, uh, in this other case, the same, uh, the same test was performed, but to low density polyethylene films in order to observe the impact of, on biocompatibility. The results reflect that at the drying rate in time increased, the roughness increased, with her behind the bed has asked for activation by the incorporation of the new polar functional groups on the, on the surface. Uh, in this case of the polyurethane with which was treated with air, oxygen, neutrons, and argon, it was it was determined that the withdrawability and adhesion character improved sustenance with air at time of three minutes. And then the roughness increased with the incorporation or adaptation of the gas to the surface hollowing uh, into the behave more hydrophilic. But what is the relation behind weightability and roughness? It will depend on the incorporation of new functional groups on the surface of traded samples and the treatment time, uh, because after a time called aging time, it will cause the opposite effect due to the orations and migrations of polar space. Next slide, please. So cold plasma technology represents a huge opportunity to tailor different materials uh, properties for specific activities in a solvent less, low energy, fast and eco-friendly way. Features like hydrophobicity, hydrophilicity, uh, bioadhesion, biocompatibility, oxytocompatibility in many application areas like medicine, textiles, packaging, and even surface decontamination for viruses and bacteria. According to the reviewed uh, literature for this project, uh, we do think that more research must be done to improve the presented limitations above in order to move into a faster tailor-made and more important greener production. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Albert, Julio, Natalia, for your great, great presentation. So we will continue with the next group. Next, where well, you are all, I mean, the first group and the second group, I can, I, I can tell you that you are all ready for a five minute pitch. They're ready. I mean, you, you are doing a great job. <laughs> 